Yo guys, what is up? It's Nick, and today um, I'm just going to do kind of the weekend in review, the flashbacks collection and the quarterback position collection number two. Um, so the QB position collection number two is uh, all the lower rated guys, I think it's 91 and below, are all in this collection, which includes all the reg legendary quarterback key cards, I believe. We've got Warren Moon, Kurt Warner, and then Steve Young. Um, also, the 85 overall rookie key, Peyton Manning, for the Marshall Fault collection. Uh, I sold two of those for 75 k Also, the Tim Tebow goes in this collection. Um, both campus heroes, Russell Wilson and Andrew Luck. Uh, all the fantasies and the flashbacks, so um, doubly making these flashbacks rare because they go in two collections. Uh, Matt Schaub key card, Michael Vick key card. Uh, just a bunch of, just a bunch of, like decently rare cards in this collection. Uh, for completing it, you get 250,000 coins, 10 legendary packs, a key pack, and uh, Colin Kaepernick, which I will go show you guys right now. Let's go down to Elite QB 49ers. This card is pretty good, not the greatest, uh, not the worst though. Uh, he's, go he's actually one up for 40,000. Uh, 95 speed, 97 agility, 99 injury awareness, th short throw accuracy, or no, throw short and 98 throw mid, 94 throw deep, and 100 throw power. I don't know why I said short throw accurate, I don't know. That doesn't matter. Okay, but that is him. He's a pretty decent card. If I was still trying to make a good team, I might actually pick him up to play like a third corner, or quarterback or something like that. So you can see new flashback cards, I'll get into that in a second. As we go back to flashbacks, you see I have 1.5 million, but there's no way I'm going to get this collection done, even though I only need 10 more cards. I have every flashback in this collection that's not that's not Peyton Manning, uh, Steven Jackson, or the new cards. Peyton Manning is worth about 300,000. Uh, I had three of them, and I, ha I sold them when I got back on this game, but I need him. Steven Jackson was going for about, these are last night's prices, uh, around like midnight or 1. Uh, Steven Jackson's a hundred thousand. Uh, Andre Johnson was about two fifty. Deacon was about four hundred. Palomalu was about two fifty. Tolbert was about two fifty. Tolbert's a new card who gives plus five to trucking and carrying and plus four to stiff arm and ball carrier vision. Pretty decent stats on the back of that. Good fullback, definitely. Another new char card is Jamal Charles. I think he was going for about four three fifty four hundred. And he gives plus 5 to Juke and Elusiveness, and plus 4 to Spin Move and Ball Carrier Vision. Really good stats on him. I wouldn't mind picking him up. Rondé Barber, also a new card I really would like to get. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter what I want to get. It's, you just get this collection done. You get all the cards back. But I'll talk about that. He gives plus 5 to Catching and Tackle, and plus 4 to Play Rec and Juke. Uh, really nice stats on that. Pretty much all 100s. Man, Press, Awareness. Agility. Agility is a little hard to boost, but although four of those stats on the left are all pretty darn easy to boost. Um, if you come here to uh, Adrian, Barbara was going for like 450, I think. Adrian Wilson's going for about 400, 450. He gives plus four to tackle, plus five to power move, and plus five to jump. Also plus four to press. So we have Adrian Wilson and Rondé Barber. You're made. And here's the big one: Night Train Lane, plus five to strength, catch, man. Spec catch and catch in traffic. He is going for about 3 million coins, so that is why I can't get this collection done. If he was going for about 400, I could wait until they all dropped and pick them all up. But because of that, I'm probably going to be unable to get this collection done. I'm going to try to get it as close as humanly possible to getting it done, which probably means I'll get through Night Train Lane. I'll probably get to Adrian Wilson, which would just leave Night Train Lane, because uh, I don't really have any other way to get that many coins to to um, complete the collection. Uh, but what you get for completing this collection is um, three loyalty packs for Man 25, and I believe you also get some coins. It doesn't say it up there, but I believe on Twitter they said you get coins as well for Man 25. You get five legendary packs in this game, a court reward, and a surprise flashback card. You also get the 12, or I think it's 13 cards at the end of this, um, which, which I'll go through real quick just in case you didn't figure it out. Night Train Lane, Adrian Wilson, Rondé Barber, Jamal Charles, Mike Tolbert, Troy Palomalu, Steve Smith, Deacon Jones, Joe Hayden, Nick Mangold, Andre Johnson, Mike Wallace, and Ed Reed. And um, if you didn't notice here, 
your defense it will be pretty darn stacked because you will have Ed Reed and Adrian Wilson, because Adrian Wilson's better than uh, Troy Polamalu. Uh, so you'll have Adrian Wilson and uh, Ed Reed back there. Your cornerbacks will be Joe Hayden, Rondé Barber, and Night Train Lane. <laughs> your wide receivers will be Andre Johnson, Mike Wallace, and Steve Smith. I mean, just look at this. Halfback, Jamal Charles, fullback, Mike Tolbert. Left end, Deacon Jones, center, Nick Mangold. Your team will just be monster. You also get a flashback card. Uh, which is also a monster if you choose to keep it or you could sell it. Uh, let's look at it. It is Elite Ray Lewis. They're starting the game. They started the game with Ray Lewis. They're going to end it with Ray Lewis, pretty much. Uh, so let's load this up. There he is, Ray Lewis, going for 950000 He gets plus 5 to power move, finesse move, play rec, hit power, Pursuit and Block Shed is a career card where he had 1,573 tackles, 41 and a half sacks, and 31 interceptions. Pretty much all 100 stats. Speed easily boosted. Agility, I don't know how many cards boost agility. And uh, six 100 stats off the bat um, on the back of the card. So if you paired him with the rest of those cards, which... I guess if I probably complete this collection, I'd just keep the card at that point. Because uh, so, I wouldn't have anything else I'd want to do. So I'd just keep Ray Lewis and uh, pretty ha have a pretty stacked defense, if I do have to say so myself. Uh, but I will try to get this collection done. Um, pretty much the only way is if I pull the Night Train Lane, uh, then I could actually probably get it done. I'd probably sell him first, buy all the other cards, throw them in, and then just kind of sit and wait until I could buy him for cheaper. Because if I sold him, I'd probably, it'd probably cost me $2 million to get the rest of the cards. I could probably get them for around $2 million. The other 9 maybe $2.5 mil. If I sold him for 3 um, I'd have a what? What would that be? 2.5 minus 3 I'd have $2 million coins, so I just have to wait until Night Train Lane dropped to $2 million. Or I could snipe him, or I could just try to get my coins back up. But that's a long shot, and uh, probably won't happen, but we'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.